All right, folks, here we are. Uh, we're using the Flashback Express 5. As always, 10's on the cheap. It's a free download for the basic version. Pro version has lots of options. Tonight's video is all about using the OpenShot screen or video editor. Now, this is a free piece of software that I've used in Linux for years to stitch together videos, add audio, you can add tracks, you can link stuff, do transitions. There's a ton of stuff that you can do with this particular software. Uh, at the very end of this, well, at the very end of this, this will be over because you're not going to see me edit this because I'm recording it right now. What I'm doing is recording this on my cell phone, the voice, the screen you're seeing on the Zotac CI-323, which has the necessary processing power to deal with this. The, I haven't tried it on the HiBook, but the HI-12 last night just didn't care for it. It can be used to pick up sounds from your PC uh, and your microphone of course uh, if I had one anyone who wants to donate me a wonderful microphone uh, I would appreciate that uh, I really can afford one but I just haven't got around to it as it were uh, hmm and we don't know why I'm missing files but we're gonna play this just for giggles. Huh. Well, that's weird. Never had that happen before. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Now let's see what we got. Hmm. Okay, we got issues here. Uh, playing files. That's all right. We really don't need to. Hmm. Although I'm kind of confused why they're not playing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, thank you. Windows 10. That's neither here nor there. I'll eventually lay those in one of these tracks. You can add tracks, insert your videos. This is a free video editor. If you just need to get stuff on the web, this will do it for you. Now, you can't see it right now while you're watching the video, but you're watching the video, which means it's been done. You would just create a project... Hit new project. You'll call it whatever you want. Well. Yeah. Well. Maybe I've abused the CI-323 a little too much tonight. We'll see. Uh, let's hope. We can do this. Well, here. We're, we can still import files. You would import your files. Video. Audio. Whatever you need. Even JPEG pictures. And uh, when you're done, you can stitch them all together. You'll get your sound output. So we're going to check that out. Although I am a little upset about the fact I'm not getting to my audio files tonight haven't seen it do that but i am pulling them from a flash drive and who knows maybe i messed her up we don't know that can occasionally happen hmm. let's see let's try
Nope. They work. So we're going to have audio files. Okay. I don't know why the one folder I had went to hell in a handcart. Uh, I may have accidentally deleted some files. It happens. So for now, we're just going to leave it at that. You can find this uh, fine piece of software at openshot.org, which I'm about to show you the website. Here we go. Got to type with one hand because, yeah, we're using the phone to record the video. Boom. It's right there. If you just need to do videos, basic videos, don't need to do way too many things. This one might be the way to go. Or you could throw Linux on your machine and download OpenShot on that. All right, that's going to be it for this evening. And we are done, folks.